never ever um, seen anywhere like Harry's. We've never experienced anything like it. It's quite a moving place. The buzz that's in here, um, the atmosphere, the love. Where do you find people like that? You know, seeing what Gareth and, and David do here, it's really inspirational. It's so welcoming, it's so inclusive. I'm Gareth, and one of my Harry's, I don't know what that answer is. Um, mother? The mother. <laughs> no. <laughs> my name is David English, I am Gareth. Partner in life and partner in business, I suppose. One of my two Harry's, uh, it's hard to sort of use those labels for us. They don't always fit. Our daughter, Chloe, volunteers here. She does work experience here every Friday. Chloe's life was very sort of solitary at home before we found Harry's. But now we have somewhere where she gets a sense of community, makes friends, and it's given her the confidence to do other things. So she's coming out of herself more than we ever thought she might. And I've seen her help others as well. So that's one of the things you notice in here, actually, is the kindness between um, the people who work here and in fact the customers and people who just come in because they like to be here. I think she likes very much this environment because it's a supportive environment. And I would have said before Harry's, it'd be hard to imagine Chloe in a working environment herself, but that has changed since she's worked here. So the future has opened up for Chloe, actually. It has so, yeah, I would say the future is sort of brighter now for Chloe. Uh, I volunteer here on a Thursday morning. So I would be in the in the back kitchen, sort of helping doing the tray bakes and uh, you know just sort of uh, buns and all that sort of things. It's good crack. Right, that's us. We'll come back for the pies. Nice little bread, Mason. That's sort of bread. Because everybody loves it. What I love is the people who are under the people who are understanding and take my disability very serious. Right, so I open the dishwasher, try and shake off whatever water there is. I suffer of sensory processing disorder as well, which is part of my autism condition. The technique I use for time saving. So while this is going through the cycle, what that means is there's certain fabrics and things you can't wear and you're very conscious about your appearance all the time and how you look and all. So we have to keep our tea towels to the minimum as much as we can. And you want to be happy with the way that you are, not unhappy. I'm drying these so that we don't get a big build up of dishes. So here is the best place where I love the fact that we don't have, we're not forced to wear uniforms or that there. Cause if I was, and depending on the type of uniform, I wouldn't have a job. Everyone here is really nice, and yeah, I enjoy it. It's good. Just the atmosphere, like everyone's friendly. I get to. Experiment with baking and all. I always forget. You do so right. well, Anne. <laughs> right. There are so many people I know who do way worse than you. I'm very impressed. Right now I'm making brownie. It's like there's like three parts to it. There's the chocolate bit, there's the like bacon powder bit where you put in like the salt and stuff, and this is like the banana bit. They're banana brownies. But how mostly how you get the taste from it. Well, I'm like the assistant. An assistant baker? I don't know if I have a specifically named role, but yeah, I'm just in here going through the list of what needs done today. I came here straight out of dropping out of university, so like, I didn't know what else I was going to do. You know, I didn't have any idea what I was going to do for a job, and this place, I have autism, so I figured, you know, what a perfect place to like, just start working. Um, and yeah, it's, they've been really supportive of, you know, everything. Um, yeah, it's just such a nice wee place. I am a retired nurse and after retirement I 
felt I needed to do something. So we heard about Harry's place opening and it being to help adults with special needs and autism. And I thought that's the place I'd like to come. So I came here and been here about two years. And I love it. I complain all the time here, but I love it. like the staff, you know, they're, very and they're, good. they're good crack. One of the girls, I was, she was saying to me, uh, like, but do, are you, do you know everybody here? And I was going through all the names. I got talking to her and she said to me, but this is Harry's place. I says, where is that? I don't know it. And she took me right out the door and pointed down. I says, I've passed that, but I didn't know what it was. So she says, well, I volunteered in the end of Thursday. So the following Thursday, I put my bus and I said, take me to Harry's bus and I came in. And you know, I came in so depressed. And I thought, what have I got to depress about? I looked at the kids and what a welcome I got. And I've been coming in every Thursday since. Made so many friends. I get all the hugs of the day from those kids. I just love them. I can remember just having that thought. What if we started our own group? I remember talking to you about possibly starting this group and well, you know, something for people to learn to spell these. Obviously, David was involved, and then we were like, oh, we need volunteers. Mariam and Trevor, David's parents. I suppose we've been connected since the very beginning. We sort of, now we'd regard it as just a great big family. Harry's place probably evolved from Harry's mates initially, which mm -hmm. evolved from uh, the Manly Men, that was a social group in Belfast that the, the boys would have run for a group of men, obviously, in Belfast at that stage. And then when they, Dave and Gareth settled in Ballinhinch, they wanted to run a similar project, a social hub for adults with, with learning difficulties in Ballinhinch. There was a, what are we gonna call this? And we were talking obviously about different names, and it was, well, it's that moment of, well, hold on. The first person I ever met with learning disability was Uncle Harry. It, it has to be called Harry's. I think until you're involved in this, you don't realise how diverse people are, even within, if you want to have that bracket of learning disability. Um, well, they're just ordinary people, obviously, um, but all so different. All just different characters and great fun. Like, uh, there's some crack goes on in this place, I'm telling you. Kira is very lovable and she's very outgoing. She's got a great sense of humour. Yeah, she's just life and soul of the party. The first time I found out about Harry's Place was actually when they were on The One Show and they had a big thank you and I saw Gareth and David then getting a big thank you and I thought, oh gosh, that sounds brilliant. You know, what they were doing and I thought next time in Balna Hinch we'll have to pop in. We were having um, you know, a cup of coffee and a cake and everything. It was lovely and everybody was very friendly and uh, Gareth said, did Kira want to join Harry's Mates? kira has been coming to Harry's Mates ever since popping into the, the cafe then and, um, and she absolutely loves Harry's Mates. You know, she's very sociable, so it's absolutely perfect for her. She loves she loves mingling with people. She loves the Wednesday night. You know, she's always disappointed when it's the middle Wednesday night when she isn't going, you know, because it's on every fortnight, not every week. She just happily skips off to it and then comes home full of stories about it. I don't think you can have enough of these sort of services for our children. The people who work here, the people who are getting trained, the confidence they get from doing it, and you know, seeing what Gareth and, and David do here, it's really inspirational. And I think you have to be special kind of people to really be able to to to, to bring it off like they do, because I think it's really their personalities that really make this what it is, you know. It's so welcoming, it's so inclusive, and you know, the the benefits that, you know, people with learning disabilities and autism 
can get from coming here. Tell me about how you feel about Harry's space. I feel, I feel good in it. It feels amazing. My son Callum uh, is one of Harry's mates, buddies, works here, just loves the place. Callum has been working in here on a Friday for about a year and a half now. Um, and then he goes to Harry's mates and he's also now started on Thursdays. Um, with Harry's hangout. What's your job? Front of house. Front of the house? What does a front of the house do? It's serving people and stuff. Cosmos. Callum is, he's always been described medically by doctors as an enigma because he doesn't kind of fall neatly into any particular box. And have you many friends like, have you? Yes. Tell me about your friends. Will we, do we, and go with my friend. They walk where I walk. They're my best friends. This place has been like him finding his tribe. This is his his utopia. You love your job? Yeah. What about Garth and David? <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. He, he's the best the only girl. What Calm's 20 now, so he went through 20 years of never having a friend, never being invited to a birthday party never been able to come home and talk about people that he knew or what was happening with them or never having the crack. Um, so Harry's place has given him all of those things that he was missing. And do you think your life's got better since you joined Harry's place? Yeah. Why is that? <laughs> because they're my best friends and I, and I love them. I think Callum really never had the opportunity before he came here to really be himself and be comfortable in his own body, in his own shoes, with his own words. Um, because for such a long time, people have been trying to get him to be something that he's not, trying to mold him in certain ways, trying to therapize him into certain behaviors. Um, he has blossomed, it sounds like an odd word to use, but um, he really has since he came here. He has just got so comfortable with himself. It's really nice because I didn't know I was going to work here on Fridays and do my mom and dad's days and I'm so glad for them for us to come and work and it's really making me happy. Gareth and David, what they have created here for these young adults is just so unique, so wonderful. Um, it makes me cry actually whenever I think about it because they're so devoted to these young adults and these kids and to helping them to do what Callum has done here. We opened the sit-in the day that the government allowed sit-ins to open again that you could go into a cafe and I have a video of and I had Taylor Swift and all playing and it's at night time and it was the night before we opened and I was just filming it to see what it was like and I remember it just being like wow it looks so professional um, but in that time, we had our first 
Harry's place. So yes, we wanted to call it something. And again, we're like, we couldn't call it Harry's mates. Um, and it was a CIC. So a CIC is a community interest company. Um, because we were waiting on the charity status. So we're like, well, hold on, what is this? Oh, it's going to be a place for the mates. Oh, we'll just call it Harry's Place. Bam, that's how basic we were. Like, right, we'll call it Harry's Place. So that's where Harry's Place CIC came from. We were told, don't advertise. Don't advertise. And we were told that by the trust now, you know, don't advertise because you'll be bombarded with people. And we didn't. We we didn't advertise like members. People started to come in. And one in particular, I can remember the first day. Um, so a lady came in and said that their friend or son, son. friend's son um, would love it in here. Would there be any chance? And we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah bring him in. And the next day, in came this way. Mum and dad were here. Remember, mum and dad were up visiting. And in walked this young fella. And he's like, my name's Rory. Um, I really want to get emotional even thinking about that day. Such as, oh. I'm Rory. I'm the front of the house. I greet the customers. I talk to the customers. I always say, Hi, my name's Rory. And I go, Did you, you, ha- you have a nice day? Rory is like, everyone calls him the superstar because he just, he's an absolute pro. Uh, he's so good with the customers. Rory is a star. Like, <laughs> He kind of makes my job a bit redundant when he comes in, so <laughs> I get to hang back, but I'm also like, ooh, what should I be doing here? And then I say, are you sitting in or are you taking away? And if the go, can I sit, can we sit in? They go, yeah, no problem. I go, um, welcome. And then say, sit anywhere you are, sit anywhere you would like. And I give him a wee menu just walked in and immediately I think Rory's the one who reminds me the most of Harry just their personalities would have been very alike and I remember mum like he came in and the conversation started and I remember my mum getting emotional because mum was like oh there's Harry Um, but Rory was just oh he came in and we had a conversation with him and he got stuck in quite quickly with the waiter inside of it. But we had this conversation with him. Right, if you could do anything, what would you want to do? Every one of the guys that comes through here, um, they've just been amazing. And they're so like sociable and just kind and they want to learn as well. And they're just very keen and positive and it's a really like, lovely environment to be in. Working at Harry's, it seems to me it's all about the mates and like interacting with them and getting to meet them like it's people you wouldn't like get to see as much of in sort of day-to-day life or in other jobs it's like a really unique experience and the people are really wonderful everyone who i work with they're like family to me they really are and he said that his dream because he worked at another um learned disability cafe that unfortunately must have lost her funding or it didn't work out and they closed down and he it's, he's very open about how he didn't have a lot um, of clubs and things and his dream always was to do the till he always wanted to get to that level of doing the till um, but he never got to and I remember on his first day going well in here you're going to do the till and he just let up he just was like and we put him on the till and he was amazing at it and suddenly he became well, the front of house. When I met Gav and David for the first time, they welcomed me in the cafe and just they made my life just wow, just like very, very good and amazing. And they're very good to me. And to me, I think he was the first one out of all of our mates where I could, I, it literally just clicked let them do what they want to do and see what what happens we've done across the board for every single mate and i think that's what makes harry so different So Harry's hangout 
is a program which seeks to provide sort of meaningful day opportunities for all to learn disabilities and autism. A meaningful day opportunities through a wide range of really exciting sort of educational, recreational and life skill based activities. But fundamentally, at its core, just like the rest of Harry's, it's all about having fun. It's all about like-minded individuals coming together, socialising and having a crack with all the rest of that that are sort of sprinkled through. We're doing like a fundraiser. So we're doing, it's like, we're doing like, it's called the Rainbow Project thing. So here what I'm doing here is like a rainbow catcher, like for, for the sun to shine on. You keep trying like a rain, to make like a rainbow colors. And then and we're also, we're also going to do like brace, bracelets and necklaces for the sell. And we're going to like sell them so that people can buy them. We're going to sell them some in the Harry's place in Eaton Bell Hinch and some in the Harry's one in, Bel in Belfast. So people can buy them and we can like get money, how much money we raised. When I first started, I didn't know what this fair. And then I, automatically, I, I, I fell in love with it because Gareth and David make me laugh every day. And I love all the staff and all are very friendly. They made me feel like I'm part of something in my life has really been different since I came here and been stuck in a house and, and not being able to do anything just be, made me feel um, irritated. Harry's has definitely made life a lot, a lot easier for me and coming in here and be able to talk to my friends. At the moment we are currently running three days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday and a Saturday. Our aim is to run that potentially five to six days of the week. Currently we're running groups um, of up to eight participants. We hope to expand that up to potentially 20, 2025. So I started as a volunteer, so I've been a volunteer for a year and then I started my dream job here nine, nine months ago. As a volunteer I've done lots of things here around the Harris space. I work on the kitchen, we've done lots of crafts here. I'm Joy, um, I am from Patrick. When I came here for the first time, I, w I was always with Joey every Wednesday, every Friday, and uh, Harry's mates, all that stuff. I like um, working with Gareth and David. They're actually really fun to work with. They're nice people. He's really friendly. He's caring. He's working so great with um, our guys. He is learning a lot of new things. I see a huge progress. The helped me grow confidence. They probably saw something in me. I think everyone loved him, really. And uh, yeah, he started doing uh, more coffee, so he's helping much more me on the front. And yeah, and I love to listen to his uh, conversation with customers. So if Harry's mates want to go somewhere, I'm on the board. They come to me and uh, go back to Garth or David. I see how we are growing. I see what a big progress we all made in that place. And we are getting bigger. I see a huge um, uh, future for Harry's Place and I'm glad I'm a part of them. Hello, do you like Harry's Place? Yes. Yes. And do you like Gareth and David? Yes. Do you like yes. Joey? Yes. Yeah. Are you playing with him? Yes. Yes, every Friday? Yes. Yes. Are you helping me to build the boxes? Boxes, yes. Yes, and stamp them? Yes. Yes. Do you help us with cutleries? Yes. And polishing all that glass? Yes. And cups? Yes. Yes. Are you a great worker? Yes. You are the best one, yes? Yes. Are you happy here? Yes. Very happy. The boys are constantly, constantly trying to find funding. You know, applying for, for funding. Just trying to think of every way possible to to get funding because everything just as we know any business costs so much. So that's that is a big a big thing now. It's a big worry at times. I feel that uh, Balnehinch is very lucky um, to have Harry's Place. I think if it could be expanded, that would be even better. I mean, it's not just the cafe as well. But we have the most amazing uh, socials as well. Mainly done to fundraise actually because that's such an important aspect to be able to keep this offering and keep Harry's going but um, there are evenings held you know in in the marketplace so there are cinema evenings and arts and crafts evenings so there is a social element 
in the evening time as well for the people who come here who volunteer? Well, they just couldn't function without it, basically. You know, they couldn't pay the rent, they couldn't pay the bills. Uh, we're paying staff now. It's literally critical that they get the funding for this place because I do not want to find myself and Callum and our family back in a world where Harry's doesn't exist because that would be an absolute tragedy. That this is an absolute lifeline for Callum. There's no two ways about it. And again, that maybe sounds dramatic, but this is, this is a lifeline. This is a huge part of his life. It's so, so important to him. The people here, what they've created here, how he feels about the place. It's, yeah, this, it just, it has to always be here. <laughs> we we're very confident on what they're doing and uh, that it will, will progress. And it involves so many lives now. Yeah. There's no way it's that it can feel. Right, <laughs> So many people, so, so many people uh, need it. Um, we need it. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind the mates, and, but, and that's why. I mean, their you know, their their dream, as we said before, like Gareth's a visionary. But their dream would be to have a big building yeah. and be able to have a gym, be able to have uh, sensory rooms, yeah. uh, just yeah. a whole raft of stuff. You know, a, a centre basically. They're very accepting of people, no matter like what disabilities they have, or just in general. You know, nobody that nobody that comes in here is treated any differently than anyone else. You know, everybody's treated normally. You know, it doesn't matter like if you're blind or if you're you know autistic or anything like that. There, you know, you're always going to be treated the same. I'll do one and I'll let you look at it. Yeah. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. That's the best for you. There you go. Hi, hi. They just say to everybody, like, accept each other and just work together as a team. It's not really much you can ask for. That's why it's a good place. They are all amazing. They're pretty decent. They're accepting. Accept me for me. Like, you know, there's no questions about it. get me out more socially and you know it's given me a great insight into what the working world looks like pretty much. I'm happy because how people make me happy and I, and how I make them happy it's, it keeps going each each direction. Like they like connect we're like connected to each other. Whenever you think that we've only been here for about, about three years but yeah. it really has become an intricate part of the fabric of Golden Hinch mm -hmm. and most people that I talk to in whatever sphere were men they always know, all know about Harry's and and what it stands for the ethos that it has and I just think you know there's there'll be so much public community support for this place um, that hopefully that will grow uh, I think as a lot of people say, even local councillors have said Balnhinch needs this. Just took for someone to come along and give these people a chance um, to just be part of the world and have a place because everyone in this world just deserves to have a place, so why not have Harry's place? Um, where you can come along and whatever you're good at, we will help make 10 pounds better. And whatever you feel that you lack, it doesn't matter. In Harry's, you, you know, you're a mate and you're a mate for life and what you're good at is what, what shines and we'll always help, help them shine as much as they can. At the end, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about who you've lifted up, who you've made better. It's about what you've given back.